You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. Another disappointment came on Monday when Ed Ogeron went through the bye week injury update, and uh, Tigers have lost yet another starter. Yeah, Major is not available right now. Cornell Flott is, won't be available this week for practice. Uh, hopefully he's available next week. I will not know that. Uh, Anthony Bradford will be unavailable the rest of the season. Uh, that's only the only update I have right now to give you definitely. All right. Ogeron did not elaborate on why Bradford will be unavailable. You might remember Bradford was injured literally on the first play of the game against Florida, but he did return and then he played this week. But um, Bradford unavailable for the rest of the season. And it's disappointing because he's one of your best five. I mean, there's no way, no other way around it. Anthony Bradford is one of your five best offensive linemen. So if you're trying to put your best five out there, this is a guy that's played left tackle for you. He's played the guard spots. Uh, he could play on the right side as well. He is uh, He's one of the guys that actually you look at and say, he's part of the reason that I have optimism about the offensive line next year. Because Bradford is a guy who you feel can be a, a more than competent starter in the SEC. A good starter in the SEC. And then outside of Bradford... You feel really good about Will Campbell coming in, although you don't necessarily want to start a freshman. But you can look across that line and say Marlon Martinez has played pretty well. Garrett Dellinger they have high hopes for and can be a, a good starter in the SEC. I mean, you've got some options there. But that's not going to help you here in the immediate short term. So Ed Ogeron did go through what the plan is now going into Alabama with Bradford out the rest of the way. Yeah, I think Cam's going to be ready. Uh, look, looks like Cam's going to be ready. We talked about it this morning, and uh, we're going to see how he does this week, but I do believe he's going to be ready. So Cam is Cam Wire, and so that does, in essence, keep your starting offensive line intact. You'll have Cam Wire, who started the season as your left tackle, has played well at times. You keep Ed Ingram at guard, Liam Shanahan at center, likely Marlon Martinez there at right guard, and Austin Decula. So your starting five looks like your starting five, but you're down one of your best in Anthony Bradford. There's no way around that. Um, and you're going to be going against an Alabama team that is just daunting. An Alabama team that has the nation's leader in sacks and tackles for loss, and the only other guy in the country that's in the top ten in both as well. Um, that's going to be a mighty challenge for this offensive line, which quite honestly just hasn't been very good all year. Which has kind of bled into the other conversation about quarterback. Because we did see, against Ole Miss, Garrett Nussmeyer come off the bench and play the entire fourth quarter and lead two scoring drives for 10 points. Um, now, Ed Ogeron did clarify that Max Johnson is still the guy. Max is still out of starting quarterback. He was a little beat up. Man. You know, he got hit. And, uh, you know, he made a tremendous play to Trey Palmer. That was a tremendous play. He took a big hit. He was getting some hits in there. And uh, we, I just wanted to give him a break, uh, get Garrett some time. I told Garrett I'd give him some time. But Max is still out of uh, starting quarterback. But if there's a chance for us to give Garrett some time in there, some quality reps, we will. Just one other point of clarification. I, I will elaborate because I have some thoughts on Nussmeyer. But one other point of clarification, um, the target – since Miles Brennan broke his arm before the season was always this week. When he broke his arm, this was the target to have him back by the open date to be able to get ready to play against Bama. And unfortunately, it looks like that target's going to be missed. Yeah, he was thrown the other day. I, I don't expect him back next week. Uh, I have not talked to him. Uh, uh, Bo hasn't said anything about him practicing. I don't think he's ready to practice right now, and I don't expect him back next week. Okay, so no Miles Brennan. Max Johnson's still the starter, but if they have an opportunity to give Garrett Nussmeyer reps, they plan to do it. Um, we got asked, uh, T-Bob and I, on the postgame show on Whiskey and Wine uh, about Garrett Nussmeyer and if we thought that they should have put Garrett in sooner. My feeling on it is that it would not have made any difference whatsoever. Nussmeyer had an okay quarter. Uh, he was 7 of 12 for 103 and a score uh, in a game where the issue is no longer in doubt. How different might that have looked if 
you're there, snap one when the pressure is cranked up and you're getting a look at an SEC defense in that situation, you know, bullets flying for real for the first time. Um, I think Garrett Nussmeyer can, can be a really good player. And I like that he has a little bit of cowboy in him. But I like that whenever it's under control. You know, the, the best example of that is a guy you played against on Saturday. You know, Matt Corral has that in him as well. And it got him in a lot of trouble a year ago. He's played much smarter this year, and he's completely cut down on those turnovers, and it's made Ole Miss a team at 6-1 and one with a chance to run the table that could find itself back in the mix for the playoff, if nothing else, the New Year's 6. So, but, but the things that have really plagued this offense start with the offensive line. We've talked about it all year. When you can't run the ball and you can't protect your quarterback, it doesn't really matter who the running back is, who the quarterback is. And I would also go a step further and say the other part is, you know, when we go back to the start of this season, there was this debate about Miles, Brendan, Max Johnson. And one of the big arguments for Max Johnson was his athleticism. Max can run. You know, so Max gives you options. You can run quarterback draws. You can run naked bootlegs. You can move the pocket. And he's just, he can beat a team or he can hurt you with his feet. And where Miles Brennan couldn't. The perplexing thing is that they haven't used Max Johnson to run all season. That's the, the most stunning part about this specific to Max is that if you were going to have him there because you thought he could maybe make some hay running the football, I mean, his best rushing game was against Auburn where he had 10 carries for 10 yards, a long of 11. I mean, he's not run for more than... that was. That's his long on the season, by the way. They have completely negated his ability to run the football. So if you're not going to run your quarterback, then it really doesn't matter. I mean, Miles Brennan's got the, more, the best arm of the three. I'd almost play him if he were available, which he's not. So if you're not... I mean, Nussmeyer's athleticism is, is intriguing. I think it'll get you into some trouble at times as well. He's got to harness it. Could he make some wild plays? Sure. But if you're not going to use that dimension of his game, then it all—it's almost irrelevant. You know, after the game, uh, Ogeron was asked about Nussmeyer and, and what he saw and what he liked there in the fourth quarter. You know, I thought he gave us a little spark. You know, and, and then Garrett's like that. Garrett's a, a high-energy guy. He went out there and gave us a little spark. We got to look at. It. I'm not saying that Max was doing the poorly. I think he didn't have enough time. We just want to give Garrett a chance. We need a little change of pace on offense, and we got him. I just think you're. Whichever quarterback you put into this offense, behind that line, with the lack of a running game, with a, a play caller that clearly is is in over his head, you're just def, you're just efficient. You're putting that guy at a disadvantage. Whether it's Max, or, I'm not saying Max Johnson's played perfectly. He's had some open shots that he's missed. You know, I'm not saying like there. It's been far from perfect, no doubt. But he's not the root of the problem with this offense, and I don't think the other guy fixes what ails this team. If you want to play Garrett Nussmeyer some, play Garrett Nussmeyer. Uh, get get him some reps out there. Get him some experience. Maybe you find a spark and you see something you know, that will carry you forward. But I don't think playing Garrett Nussmeyer against Ole Miss alters the outcome. I don't think playing Garrett Nussmeyer against Alabama or any team further out alters whatever the outcome would be. You want to play them both? Play them both. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.